Uh, Come down. Well, you want live scoreboard? Live scoreboard. Just hit yeah, that. It, I think protocol will be the same on that. No, it's not protocol. It's okay. It's live scoreboard. Just let it load. Boy, you're just full of instructions, aren't you? Yes. Well, no, because you, if you're going to desert me, if it comes up, it's fine. Oh, apologies, everybody. It's Randy and myself having a little yeah, natter here yeah, about right. the scoreboards. Yeah, American the version of the Brit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about the technology. How come you don't have it on your screen? Uh, I don't know. I think I think the world has overloaded the technology here. I think you're booking a hotel reservation. <laughs> Does your girlfriend know about this? Four seconds to go till we're due to uh, start the clean and jerk. So just having a look at the uh, opening uh, weights here, and uh, just again to put you in uh, perspective, uh, Intercom Zairov of Azerbaijan, who lifted in the B group, 392 his total, the leader in the overall clubhouse. Well, this is always tricky, you know, Randy. If you the la if you're the last man to lift in the snatch and the first man to lift in the clean and jerk, you've had the least amount of time, probably about eight minutes, perhaps a little bit less than that even, to go through your clean and jerk warm up for an opener here of 205 kilos. Well, that looked pretty solid. Yeah, you know, this imbalance is bigger than we thought. At the top of the show, we predicted that he was going to try to make a big run in the snatch because he's stronger than that. Certainly was. Tried 187. I predicted based on this pattern that he might have problems with the jerk, and not at all, at least not yet. Looked like a good lift. <laughs> So here comes Mr. Didzbalis, who, for whom the snatch didn't go to plan either, and... Well, if he's going to be a jolly green giant, then he's actually got to start picking up some weight now in the uh, clean and jerk. Glad I didn't say that. <laughs> well, he looked really depressed at the two failures. Commented on this earlier, look how muscular he is. He's obviously doing a lot of bodybuilding, powerlifting sort of stuff, not just weightlifting. I was disappointed actually with him in the first half. I thought he really was going to produce uh, a lot better because he has been steadily improving. Well, he's just fairly understated, you know, for the tradition of that team, right? You, you know, think of Vermunas, Vishnikalkas, you know, and the, uh, some of his dramatic performances and what, even his yeah. dad. You didn't get much weight in recent years, but you got to, you always got to show. Absolutely, yeah. Should be an understudy for pro wrestling. I think a lot of these guys uh, kind of follow strongman closely, and that's why the big arms, the big chest, benching and curling, not just uh, working on Olympics. Well, you're a, big fan, you're a big fan of that, aren't you? I mean, you, you know, Well, we strongman. do cover, yeah, we do a lot. Iron Mind does a lot. You know, that and weightlifting. I actually prefer weightlifting, truth be told, but powerlifting, I'm uh, sorry, not powerlifting, strongman's got uh, a lot of appeal, too. And the Lithuanians have a, a big interest in, in strongman because, of course, um, you know, as a Drew Savickas, the top strongman is Lithuanian. He's probably a bit of a national treasure. So the bar is going to 210 kilos for the first of the two Russians. This is Andrei Damanov, the European champion. Good sequence in the first half of the show, in as much that he produced a personal best. And here, here you see the strategizing, the planning, and here you see what it is that's the focus of their attention. 
It's the attempt board. It's the same scoreboard that people out here in the stands are seeing, but the coaches are looking at it completely differently. Well, that's what, that's what always frustrates me, because I was always criticized by saying I wanted a big white board or black board, as we used to have traditionally, then we could actually enjoy the tactics being seen. But now it's been stuffed on the television. It's really hard to actually get that shot to see what the tactics are going on. So we all, I mean, we're reacting rather than actually going with the coaches. Yeah. I was, I was told that it was old-fashioned and not technically appropriate. <laughs> I came from you, so that was a good reason to mix it in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, but one of these guys mentioned when the announcer says, oh, the phone's ringing, so we, we get a little bit of, of a tip that a change is coming in. Yeah, but it's not the same as actually seeing the coaches. I mean, what, what the good thing with the whiteboard is that actually somebody goes and writes it up and you can physically see yeah. everybody changing around. Um, uh, there's another uh, there's another advantage about it, uh, funnily enough, particularly in uh, certain warm-up rooms, that a big board can be seen by pretty well most of the platforms. Uh, here, you've actually got to strategically place a coach right by that television screen or you're going to get stuck. It's a bit of a last-minute warm-up for him, being that, that squat position right before he came out. So Valerio uh, Calancia, who lived dangerously in the first half of the competition, just got one good attempt in and uh, wasn't in the 170s. So he's coming from uh, uh, way back. He's outside the top 10. He's coming from way back here to try and put some respectability into this. A man who, as I mentioned in the first half, actually has a world championship gold medal at home for winning the 85 kilo class back in 2003 in Vancouver. So opening up here on 212, this for second place in the clean and jerk, and it'll pull him up to seventh overall. And that was, that was poor. That was really poor. Well, that's, that's harsh. I would say it's heavy. Maybe that means the same result. I, mean, well, I wasn't going only on the weight. I think he didn't catch this particularly well. Yeah. Technically, I don't think it was very good. Yeah. And that's why I said it was poor. Yeah. You know, Good point in that, you know, ideally, as particularly if the weight's heavy, he would catch it and bounce at the bottom. I think he just gets pinned. And we'll see whether or not it was just a timing thing in terms of how he responds in the second attempt. Might be noteworthy, you know, we saw him in the low squat position right before he came out. I wonder if his knees are bothering him. And that's why he was stretching right before he came out. And maybe he's reluctant to bounce right away. Stretching his wrists. There's a change. But he really, he got stacked on that thing. Well, he didn't have a chance of standing up. Yeah, he's going to follow himself. He's under some pressure again now. Clean and jerk takes some gas out of the tank. You know, the snatch, he can miss a snatch, be back up there well under a minute. Not a problem. Wouldn't even be breathing hard. Clean and jerk's a different story. So, Kalancia only won 65 at the halfway stage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, well down. Where does that put him in 18th place or something like yeah. that? I mean, it's way down in the snatches. And off to a rocky start. So let's see if it's timing or strength now. Well, he pulled it out of the fire on the second attempt in the snatch phase. Is he going to do the same again? Secure neck grip. Yeah, he, he's just not strong enough to stand up with this, and I think his knees are bothering him. I think that's why we're seeing those little last-minute things backstage. He's just not strong enough. Watch. Yeah, he last strong, he could just stand up. Excuse me. He just he cannot power through the sticking point on this. See, it's the knees. That's what he's doing. Maybe the hips also. And well, that's why that suggests that's hips twisting like that. And I think he might be guarding them a little bit, and might mean he hasn't been able to squat as heavily as he would have liked to in training. And coming in maybe just a little bit shy on leg strength. Yeah, he's eight kilos down on what he did last year. And it, this sort of lives up to what Niko Vlad, the president of the Romanian Federation, was saying, because he was saying to me, you know, that he's had hip problems. And, he, you know, when I said, what do you think? And he sort of, he shook his head. He wasn't, he wasn't really looking for medals from Valencia uh, Valerio tonight. Sorry, 190 in the warm-up room. Yeah. 
So this poor guy's got to come out again. Two, two attempts, back to back. Might be in pain, you know, on top of everything else. Back against the wall, two misses. Obviously a heavy weight for him. French crowd once again, tremendous support. I just wonder whether you sense at the age of 30 that, you know, having no totaled at the World Championships in 2007, again in 2009, although he sort of pulled it out of the fire, it's becoming increasingly difficult year by year yeah. for him to prepare and bring himself onto the stage in tip-top condition. I mean, it's difficult for anybody. I mean, uh, what do they say? Sport takes place between injuries. <laughs> <laughs> But he's going to fight for it, I'm sure, but it's too much. He had to accept that. Yeah, he almost had trouble releasing that right arm. Uh, we will see this in, in slow motion. Yeah, it's not just a 30. It's a beat-up 30. It's an injured 30. It's an aching 30. It's can I do something else now kind of 30. Well, this is interesting. Uh, Dumanoff, when he was a junior, I thought always looked stronger in the snatch than in the clean and jerk. But in recent years, the clean and jerk has been his ally. This guy, uh, uh, look at that elbow. So Andre Dumanoff coming out uh, to take 213 kilos for his first attempt. And again, they've got a very steady plan with uh, Dumanoff. He was in sixth place at the halfway stage. Just moving him forward. This is what he picked up in the university ad, but it's seven kilos still short of what he picked up at the Europeans when he got that title this year. Well, he and his coach uh, Kolesnikov at the moment uh, right on track for what they wanted to do. And Tamanov uh, getting the 213. In fact, a little bit better, to be honest. Uh, they were conservative, uh, Randy, because they originally said they were going to open up on 210. Yeah. And what I sense looking at uh, Demanov is the fact that he's now beginning to enjoy the competition. Well, being the European champion probably didn't hurt things, huh? Oh, no. Now, Kim, 214 kilos on the bar for the Korean. And this is, uh, this is quite a hefty increase, isn't it? I Huge. mean, yeah. 205 to 214 is yeah. a bit extravagant, nine kilos. Well, his, remember, I said I was surprised at how easy his opener was. I was anticipating problems with the jerk, and he stuck that. Let's see if he, uh, how he handles this. This is for second place in the clean and jerk, and that's because uh, Zyrov lifted 215 in the B group. But he's worked for it, and he's worked hard. Yeah, this is interesting, you know, because I said this is a stereotype. Often when someone's good on the snatch and not so good on the clean and jerk, it's that they run into problems in the jerk phase of the clean and jerk, and not at all the case for this guy. So just review for me, he did 182, didn't he, on the uh, snatch? Right, and tried the 187. Look at this, got to work a little stand up. Look at how solid this jerk is. Boom. Sticks this thing. So, you know, when you say that he did 182 and he's done 214, that's absolutely a new personal best in every regard. What's he sitting on now? 390. Just trying to see it. 396. And I think he's got more in him, David. I think he can make another good left. Posted 400. So he's only four kilos off where he aspired to be. Now, Alexander Ivanov, the man who won the first half of the competition on body weight. Opening up here on 215. And this is where everybody is. 215 is the top entry weight in the clean and jerk. That's how tight this is.
So, third in the clean and jerk, and you might ask me why. Well, I'm just trying to work out why. Well, that was 2.15, wasn't it? It was. 2.15 in the clean and jerk. And he's got this light body weight. There's a change. 215 kilos. Yes. Just looking at Cyros body weight, which was 92.58, and even off. If I can jump, jump in with a comment while you're doing that math, yeah. David. You know, we talked about how close this field was and the quality. Look, we got a guy with 396 total, right? Uh, already, and we got so many guys who haven't even started. 400 kilo, remember, is really kind of a watershed number in this class. 412 is the overall record of Kakashvili. the clean and jerk, by the way. We're a long way off that. I don't think we'll see that threatened today. <laughs> 232? No way. Simon Kolechki. But I would not bet against Ilya uh, next year in terms of that record. So a lot more uh, blue and white on the board now. Much more success. The one man who ran into trouble, Kalancia, clearly physically not at the top of his form. Well, I don't know if it was just a shadow, David, but it looked like that right arm was maybe getting, you know, ready to bend a little bit, unlock. And just to confirm, by the way, that uh, Almas Utashov of Kazakhstan, who failed to get a good lift in the first half, has called it a day, the number two Kazakh. So effectively two men without a total at the moment. And this is uh, Nuradinov starting on 2.15. Norodinov, who brings 177 forward in eighth place at the halfway stage. This will move him up considerably. So the Uzbek goes up into third place in the clean and jerk and fourth overall. And the weight going on for the appearance of the young Iranian. The Iranian who ultimately finished fourth in the first half of the competition. And well, this is already six kilos more than he did in the Junior Worlds, Randy. But yeah. as, as we've often said, you know, at this age, you can progress very quickly. And I think uh, they'll try to develop them, obviously, you know, within some restrictions, but they want to develop them as aggressively as they can for London next year. Great performance from his teammate last night in the 85 kilo class. Well, this is where the Iranians really come into it, isn't it? It's these heavyweight yes. classes, 85 kilos and upwards. That's where it works for them. Unending supply of super supers, it seems, too. <laughs> And with 15 seconds to spare, gets the white lights. Yeah, the, the jerk looked as if it were in balance for a second, didn't you think? Maybe, you know, is it going to stay up or not? Kind of a, a very steady, methodical pull on the clean. Cleaning on his fingertips, notice the bar's just on his fingertips. He's going to maintain that position for the jerk. Fingers are all the way out to the snatch marks. Yeah, I'll tell you, that, that one he did not have a lot of extra on it as far as keeping the jerk overhead, the bar overhead. So, Artem Ivanov, the man in second place by body weight only, coming out to take 216. So it's even off versus even off yet again. Stop. <laughs> oh, power jerk there, just to kind of surprise her. Very shallow power jerk, too. So on the, the jerk, he, he will dip. Instead of splitting, he will do a little, very shallow squat under it. 
Not even close to a quarter squad in his case, I think. So Alexander Ivanov has got uh, 401 kilos. Well, we're seeing some pretty hefty numbers in this class, David. We are indeed 402 now to the Ukrainian Ivanov. And Dzbalis now coming out for his second attempt at 216 kilos. Dzbalis compared to Artem Ivanov, lighter. So this to go into first place in the cleaning jerk and keep him in the top 10 overall. Well, he's, a, he's got to work for this through all phases. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the Mishikalka school of drama. <laughs> <laughs> he has to work. Watch, he gets rocked in the bottom position. He's got to work to stand up. There's Bronius uh, Mishikalkas, the coach. Okay, watch this. Watch the bottom position. He's going to get rocked, but he's going to muscle the bar. He's going to fight to hold on to it overhead. And then he's going to celebrate, which is the big part of the lift, I think, sometimes for this team. In the lead at the moment, Artem Ivanov for the Ukraine, 402 kilos, 401 to Alexander Ivanov. In the bronze medal position is the Iranian uh, Mohammad Pur with uh, 397 kilos. 217 kilos. And in uh, fourth place. Kim of Korea on 3.96, but it's all very close, and you might have heard the bugle in the background going off there. That's Kim in picture, but Ilya Ilyin asking for 218 kilos on the bar, and you can be sure that the French crowd will be on his side, because they, like a lot of us around here, found it difficult to fault, actually, his third attempt in the clean and jerk, which actually uh, cost him three kilos, so he's only down in fifth place at the moment. He's bringing forward 100 and 81, but uh, Ilya Ilyin has put the bar up to 220. Kim is going to come out at 218. This will be a four kilo increase to take him up to 400 kilos. And just to put that in perspective, that is now 12 kilos better than he did in winning the Asian Championship. So Kim really going for this now. Wants an overall medal, but there are an awful lot of lifts out there at the moment, still to come. Ten seconds. And he's cleaned it. Oh, he was trying to catch it on the bounce, didn't do it, and that leaves him on 396. He was almost there at his enter total, but he clings on. He has got the bronze medal from the snatch as his consolation for the day, but I'm afraid he stays eighth in the clean and jerk, fourth overall, and now will be surpassed by quite a few in the uh, overall ranking. So uh, Ilya Ilyin's put the bar up to 221. Damanov now coming in for uh, Russia on 220. This is a seven kilo increase. Now this is going to pull him up to 398 if he makes it. And it's going to pull him up to third overall. And of course the lead in the cleaner jerk. So the man from Kazan, the European champion who so far, hopefully I'm not uh, putting a commentator's curse on him, but he's made four out of four. Yeah. And he's looked good, and he looks to be growing in confidence. It's a weight he's done. Did this in the Europeans. Big moment, though. Does well on the clean. Strong overhead, brings that right foot forward, and completes. Three white lights instantaneously there, and he's up into the medals. 
close to the action. And Tamarov, there's a little Kalashi off. He's in the back there. Oh, there he is. There's Nikolai. Got criticised by one of the coaches because he didn't have a shave. That's Kalashnikov. But this man, Damanov, sometimes criticised for not having as much fire as his teammate Ivanov, but he's really there and with it today. Five out of five in the overall bronze medal position. And now his teammate on the stage already now for 2.20, his second attempt. He lies in second place. This is a five kilo increase. He's a kilo down. But he has body weight advantage over his namesake and rival, Artem Ivanov. So this five kilos will take him to 406. Oh dear. Four oh six, just looking at it. Ilya Ilin won with four oh six, which is what this man was going for. Let's have a look on the jerk. Yeah, and the hips were behind. And never really got underneath that and he's got to come out again and try. But the good thing for him, that's Alexander Ivanov, is that there are a few who want two twenty, so he gets a little bit more respite to just think it through and prepare. As Anatoly Kiriku comes on now. Now, Kiriku also going for a five kilo increase. The significance of this is that it would put him in the lead in the clean and jerk. And that's what may happen here. Overall medals may go one way, clean and jerks another. Strong for the Moldavian. And how do the referees view that? Three white lights, so. New leader in the clean and jerk. And uh, Kiriku, 395. And the bar, 221. And I do think that Ilya Ilin, the Olympic champion, is going to come in. Now, this is going to put Ilya Ilin into first place in both the total and the clean and jerk, 402 kilos. The reason he's going to go first is that he weighed in 93.78. Artem Ivanov, who has 402 kilos, is actually a little bit heavier at 93.94. So this is for the lead at the first attempt for Ilya Ilin. And in the majority, in the opinion of the majority of people in this hall, very unlucky not to have kept the third attempt in the snatch. Oh, how easy was that? And that's a little bit untidy, but the strength was there and new leader. Remember, looking for his third World Championship title today, Ilya. An 85 kilo champion, a 94 kilo champion, the Olympic champion. In fact, uh, Ilya, actually the fourth world title because he won this title with uh, 392 in 2006 in Santo Domingo. Then he won it again in, uh, he won the Olympics, sorry, it is uh, actually three world titles if he gets this tonight. Now, Nuradinov. Nuradinov versus Ilya Ilin in the clean and jerk stakes. This would take the Uzbekistan lifter into first place and fourth in the total. Six kilo increase to 398. And this is great. The men are making the lifts. Norodinov, the man who finished fifth in the Asian Games last year, tenth in the World Championships last year, when he actually totaled up 362. So you can see what a huge improvement. 392 for Ruslan uh, Nuradinov, the 19-year-old. That's a massive improvement over the space of a year, 30 kilos. And now it's the turn of the Iranian teenager to uh, come out. Now again, this is a useful increase, five kilos. 
And this is to take him to 4.02. Now, the reason why he would go in the lead here, 93.46, he's lighter than Artem Ivanov. But when it comes to Ilya Ilin, so this is second in the clean and jerk, first in the total. Because this is 2.21. Second attempt. So, fifth attempt in the competition and the first uh, setback there. Currently sitting in sixth overall, talking to the Iranians before the competition started, the feeling was that maybe an overall bronze was a possibility. That might have just become a whole lot more difficult. At the moment, he stays fourth in uh, the snatch phase, which he was, which he got at the halfway stage. He's sixth in the clean and jerk and sixth overall. Now, Artem Ivanov. The man who was in the lead, well, actually still is in the lead, I beg your pardon, on 4.02. So this is 2.21 for him. This is to take him to 4.07. Uh, moves, or I should say, consolidates in first place. And in the uh, clean and jerk. Really strong, looks good, and we're coming down to those uh, all important final attempts now. So, who needs what? Overall, we've got Ilya Ilin in second place, Artem Ivanov, who's five kilos ahead of him, but uh, Ilya Ilin's got two chances to come. Now this is the last throw of the dice, dice here for Alexander Ivanov. 2.21. On the bar. And the world champion, I'm afraid, Alexander Ivanov does not keep his title. That's two failures at 220 and 221. Needed those six kilos to equal up the 407 with Artem Ivanov. And then he would have been ahead by body weight, but as it is, stays at eighth place in the clean and jerk and third overall. And opens the door for one or two. So, the Iranian coming out now to uh, try and take his five kilo increase. As I said, he's out of the medals at the moment. But if he was to make this, then he would go into second place in the clean and jerk and second place in the total. Ilya Ilin with two attempts to come. Nuradinov, Dizbalis, all with an attempt to come. Also, Damanov of Russia. Had to work to get that. How strong overhead. Needs to be very strong, but that's a great recovery. I, now, I'm just interested what the referees did. It's a good lift. And that takes him up into 
the medals into second place in clean and jerk and second place overall. And the bar going to uh, 222 because now Ilya Ilin has got to have a go at going for Artem Ivanov. But I sort of think, I sort of wonder, this is only a kilo up. I'm sure he's not going to go for this. No, Disbalis is going to go for this. Ivanov's gone to 224 or 5. So 222 for Ditzbalis. So a six kilo increase. Now this would essentially be his attack on the clean and jerk. This would put him into the gold medal position in the clean and jerk and that's clearly his objective now. And this is why I said a few moments ago, there's a real opportunity here for one or two to get clean and jerk honors, although they may not medal overall. That's a different battle. If he gets this, there'll be some... No, it just went out of his mind when it was on his shoulders there. <laughs> That was evaporation of belief. And uh, leaves him on a total of 389. No medals, I'm afraid, for Lithuania in this class. But 222 stays on the bar for uh, Ruslan Noridinov of Uzbekistan. And this represents a six kilo increase, which would take him. Uh, and that's changing already. Damanov now coming in at 225. Now, 225 for Damanov. Now, this is five kilos above what he achieved in Kazan. As you see, the Lithuanian, now he does the clean. He works really hard, uses a lot of energy. But, no. Damanov now, 225. And he's got a lot of Russian support here. So this would take him to 403. It would push him up into first place in the clean and jerk and second in the overall ranking. Ahead of Mohammad Pur of Iran in the overall. But this is absolutely new territory for Andrei Damanov. And he would become the better of the two Russians if he can make this on the third attempt. And this is for six out of six. Uh, it was a very big question. It was a good one to ask himself. But as it is, I'm afraid the European champion collects no world championship medals on this occasion. But still, there are possibilities for one or two others to get clean and jerk medals. Just heavy. Just heavy, I say, but 225. Not today. Now, Anatoly Kiriku for uh, Moldavia. Having a much better second half of the competition. This would take him to 400, but more importantly. No. So his challenge leaves him on 395. And now we have Artem Ivanov with one attempt to come, two for Ilya Ilin, Norodinov who can't really affect probably the gold medal challenge, but this could be interesting because 225, four kilos, is going to take him to 402, and he's lighter than Ilya Ilin. So this would be first place in the clean and jerk. And second in the total, so a pretty crucial lift here. This is a possibility. 
This is the man who's made already 30 kilos improvement on last year. And that's an excellent clean for the final attempt. But one lift too far, I'm afraid, and we're down to two. It's Artem Ivanov versus Ilya Ilin. He did well to clean this. But buckling under the weight, and there is Ilya Ilin now. The bar going to 226. Five kilo increase. This puts him on to 407. It calls him up with Artem Ivanov of the Ukraine. Would put him into first place, both in the clean and jerk and the overall, because he's lighter than the Ukrainian. And then they both have one left. So three lefts, three lefts left in the 94 kilo championship. Well, it's not textbook, and he's just about steady to get the down signal. Two to one. So one referee has gone against him. Now, was he still with the bar above his head? But that levels him up with uh, Artem Ivanov. So, Ilya Ilin. Ilya Ilin leading the clean and jerk, leading the overall. So, Artem Ivanov has to put on another kilo to go for the clean and jerk. A year ago in Antalya in Turkey, produced 402 kilos to ultimately take the silver medal. He lost the world title to Alexander Ivanov by just a kilo. Is it going to be deja vu? But first of all, he's got to actually lift this weight. So this to go back into the lead and an attack at the uh, junior world record, 2.27. Not to be. So Ilya Ilin knows that he's got the title. He is the world champion yet again on 407 kilos and has one lift to go if he wants it. What can he achieve in this third attempt? The phone is ringing. Yeah, I only expect something superior. Yeah. <laughs> well, just looking at the uh, world records, would he dare do this? Would he dare go for the world record? The world record is 232, the senior world record. Simon Kalechki, which has stood since Athens. But he's decided, as you can see for yourself from those pictures, he doesn't need to do any more. And that's the sort of man he is. He does what needs to be done. So Ilya Ilin, the world champion in 2006, the Olympic champion in 2008, regains the 94 kilo championship in 2011 with 407 kilos. 
and is in very good company with that sort of kilo age. Got to go back to Milan Dobrev in 2004, the Olympics in Athens, who lifted that sort of weight. Uh, 407.5 kilos. Kurosh Bagheri in Iran, uh, from Iran in 2001, 407.5, and and 412.5. But there is uh, confirmation of the clean and jerk. Two attempts there, and uh, 226 uh, gives him the clean and jerk gold medal. Norodinov comes away with the clean and jerk silver, which is uh, an incredible effort and a huge improvement from last year's World Championships. And the uh, young Iranian, again, two teenagers there, uh, uh, Mohammad Poor getting a very, very nice consolation because not only has he got the clean and jerk bronze medal, he's actually got the overall, which is what they were touting for before this afternoon's competition began. The gold goes to Ilya Ilin, the silver goes to Artem Ivanov of the Ukraine. Last year, Artem Ivanov lost it by a kilo. This day, he loses it by body weight. But to be fair, if Ilya Ilin had to come out again, then he would. Don't worry about those captions. That's from the women's competition from another day. I'm sure our colleagues will pull the right ones up in a minute. Uh, Ev Shikina, who did a brilliant job in the women's 75 kilo uh, competition. Russians have had a very, very good set of results in the women's competitions and here you can see Ilya Ilin so gold has gone to Kazakhstan silver has gone to the Ukraine and the bronze has gone to Iran and somewhat surprisingly the Russians with two very very good contenders have ended up being out of the medals I think well, I guess he's back in town, huh? Yeah, but also absolutely typical, Randy. Uh, didn't bother with the last attempt. Didn't that, need to, eh? Yeah. yeah, there it is. Confirmation by body weight. 55 kilos, 78. And look at that. Both. Well, yeah. actually, yeah. So it's, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, no, it's a tie in body weight. So in that case, the guy who hits the total first, I think, is the next thing that sorts things out. Yeah, but those body weights are wrong. Those body Oh, yeah, you know what? They are complete, because they're complete, all identical. Yeah, they're completely wrong. And they're for another class, not the 56 kilo class. They're completely <laughs> blooming wrong. I mean, it's 93 kilos 78 for Ilya Ilin, and it's 93 kilos 94. So ignore those. Let's just concentrate. Very well done to Iran. Another bronze medal. That's extremely good to so go with the 85 kilo championship. And then even off of Russia in uh, fourth place, the best of the Russians at the end of the day. But as you said, the man is back. <laughs> Spot on call by the Iranian team too, huh? Uh, coming in, they said, we hope for a bronze, and what did they get? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they summed up the class. They'd done their analysis. They could see that he had a chance there. And uh, here we get a chance to uh, have a look at the... Uh, it's Kors Bagiri, the, the coach, the top coach for uh, Nick, uh, Turing Awan. Yeah, this is my... Sorry, Ryan, this is Mohamed Poor. And, you know, considering he's only 18, junior world champion, and he's ended up with a total there of 402. Now, that is 17 kilos up on what he did in the spring. This is Bagiri's old uh, bodyweight class, too, so he probably takes a special interest in Iran producing top performances here. Kind of slow, double bounce, stands up. Really a wide hand position. Elbows up high, something to drive from the legs. Little movement under there. Nice lift though. Yeah, and considering, you know, he missed that at the second attempt and then came back and got it at the third attempt when the, the petrol's running low. Now, Nuradinov, now talking about uh, improvements, uh, you know, this man in terms of clean and jerk, uh, 200, I've seen him do 209, and you did actually, in the Asian Games. Mm -hmm. But this is a huge improvement again. Nuradinov. Look at this work he's going through. Absolutely. But he achieved a total of 398, and that is 
38 kilos better than last year. You know, his physique is really striking. Someone would just see him walking down the street say, oh, maybe the guy plays basketball, you know, for fun or something like that. Who would imagine, looking at him, he cleans and jerks close to 500 pounds. Alexi Neve looking on at uh, Ilya Ilin. Who wastes no time over the bar. You snooze, you lose when you're watching Ilya lift. Right, a little wiggle there, huh, these arms. Yeah, it wasn't textbook, but it got the job done. But, you know, he accepted that third attempt snatch decision with grace, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the fans here went nuts. I mean, I thought they were going to rock this place to pieces, but he just waved. I think it's because he knew if he needed to, he could uncork just an even bigger clean and jerk for the victory. Well, one of the good things in this hall is that there's a very big video screen, which is very clear to the vast majority of the audience. That isn't always the case. And full credit to the French, what it means is that we've got a very knowledgeable audience in here, and, you know, they have the opportunity to see the slow motion replays like you do at home. And so, therefore, from their point of view, it's very good indeed. Ringing. Yeah, I guess who's having a good time here? I mean, you know, he's like the party guy. They received their medals. They 
they will move back, please, just for a second, because now I will mention the names of those who have excelled 